Hi friends! I have another video where I showed you how to do a mail merge to create labels in Word pulling data from Microsoft Excel. And I heard from some of you in the comments that you want to know how to deal with blank lines so they get suppressed if some of your data is missing from Excel. For example, over here I have first name, last name, and so on and so forth, everything that I'd need for a label, but you can see in company name every other one is missing that data, which is not uncommon. Or you might have something like an address 1 and an address 2, and address 2 is sometimes blank. When you go to do your merge, whether it's an envelope or label, letter, or what have you, you don't want that blank line in there. So let me show you how to get around this. I'm going to start over here with a new blank document and get a mail merge going for labels specifically, but the same would apply for envelopes or letters as well. I'll go through this one really quickly since I do have that other video, but I'll start a mail merge. We'll go with labels. I'll choose 5160 address labels. And then I'm going to select recipients and I'll browse for that Excel spreadsheet over there on the right. There it is, addresses, and I'll click open. And OK. All right, now the first thing you want to do, come up to your Home tab and make sure you can see all the formatting going on here. So click that Show Hide button. And in this first cell, I'm going to go ahead and insert, up under Mailings again, our merge fields. So we'll do first name, space, last name, enter, company name, enter, address, and I'm just going to select this whole table here quickly and reduce my font size so you can see everything. We'll squeeze this in here. Okay. So after address, we're going to insert back up to mailings. We want city, comma, state, space, space, and then zip. Okay, now let me zoom in here so you can see everything. If I come up to preview results, this will show me what things are going to look like after the merge. I'll just click on this. Preview results. And you'll see for our first record or our first contact over here, Josephine, who doesn't have a company name, that's coming up as a blank line here in the preview. However, if I come into Finish and Merge, and I merge this into a new document, you'll see in this new document that the line got suppressed. It doesn't show up here, even though it was showing up in our preview back in the Merge template. However, I think that might just be because I'm in a newer version. I'm using Microsoft 365. I heard from some of you that after you do the merge, you're still ending up with those extra lines. So you have a completed document that's something like this, where every other contact has got that blank line because there was no company name. So I'll show you two ways to fix this. The first is assuming that you've ended up with this final document like this that has the extra lines and you basically need to get rid of this line and that line and so on. And if you don't want to do that manually, there's a really quick way you can do that with Find and Replace. So you want to hit Control H, which will bring up your Find and Replace dialog, and you want to search for anywhere where there's two paragraph markers. So for example, this one and that one, and you want to replace it with just a single one. So to find that paragraph marker, it's the caret character, which is probably above the six on your keyboard. You might have to hit the Shift key and then P. You can also find this under, if you click on More, and come up to Special, up to Paragraph Mark, and that'll fill in the caret P for you. But basically you want to find anywhere where there's two of those, so I'll put that back, <laughs> caret P, and then replace it with just a single one, caret P, and then say Replace All, and you'll see that took care of everything. So that's a really easy fix if you're ending up with the final merged document with those extra lines. But if you want to fix the source of the problem, which is back in our merge template, let me show you how to do that as well. Okay, back here where we started our mail merge, I'm going to click Preview Results so we can toggle that off, and just back to our merge fields. Okay, I'm going to click into whatever field I don't want to show up because it might be blank sometimes. Maybe you have an address to for what you're doing that sometimes doesn't show up. So whatever that field is that you want to disappear sometimes, that's the one you want to select. And then on your keyboard, hit Shift F9. Depending on your keyboard, you might need to hit the function key along with your F9 key. It just depends on your keyboard. 
but whatever combination of things you need to hit to get this, where you're inside of the merge field now. And then I'm going to zoom way in so it's super clear what I'm doing here. All right, inside of your merge field here, place your mouse right after that space, and then enter slash B, lowercase b as in boy, space, and then two double quotations. And now what you need to do is grab this paragraph marker right here, and we need to drag that in between the double quotes down here. But I found that if you do that, you actually come up with a weird spacing issue after the merge. So the workaround I found for this is to replace this paragraph mark with a soft return, a soft carriage return. So with that selected, hit shift enter on your keyboard, which will make it into this sort of arrow here. It's called a soft return. And then once you have that with your mouse, just pick that up and drag it right here between the quotes. It's going to jump around a little bit, but you don't want to touch anything after that. Your final result should look exactly like this. And then with your mouse still on your merge field here, hit that F9 key again. Again, you might need to hit the function as well, and that'll update your field. Okay, now if I preview results, you'll see that Josephine, who doesn't have a company name over there in Excel, is coming through perfectly here. All right, I'll deselect this again. Then let me zoom out just a little bit. We'll fill in the rest of these labels here. To do that, you can hit the Update Labels button right here, and that'll fill in all the rest of the cells. Incidentally, that was a tip I got from somebody in the comments. So if you have other tips that you know about, feel free to share them. I always love to learn new things. All right, so with those filled in, we could preview again. And we should see everything here is coming through as we expected. But you will see there's still some weird spacing here, right? That soft carriage. So let me just finish the merge. We'll get this into the full a new document. We'll merge everything. And then here in the new document, we can do a find and replace to get rid of these soft returns that we entered earlier. So to do that, we're going to go with the find and replace again, which was control H to bring that up. I'll get rid of what we had here before. But basically we want to look for any of these soft returns and replace them with just the regular paragraph mark. So that soft carriage return is going to be caret and then L. L as in Larry, the lowercase l. Replace that with the caret p. Replace all. And now everything is looking good. So that's it. If you're having that issue with blank lines, I hope you found this helpful and that it worked. Let me know below in the comments. And I always appreciate the likes and subscribes as well. Thanks so much for watching.